Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Katie Actually. Today's video is all about what's on my iPhone 6. I recently upgraded from the iPhone 4, not 4S, the 4, to the iPhone 6, and um, I still haven't bought the case that I want for it. So right now, it's just in this little, um, I don't even know what brand this is. It's a little case from Target, and it has a, um, screen protector sticker thing on it which has a little bit of food stuck underneath it. But we're just going to ignore that for now and I am going to zoom you in so you can see what I am talking about on my phone. So here is my iPhone 6. I got the white and gold version and my home screen is this quote by Roald Dahl which is my favorite quote in the world plus it has giraffes on it that says if you have good thoughts they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you will always look lovely. How cute is that? So when you go into my home screen I honestly haven't organized these in any particular way at all but my background is just some pink roses and I've got this folder here that is for photography. Now I honestly don't edit my photos as much as a lot of other YouTube girls do and maybe I should I don't know but what I do have is the ones that I use the most which are Avery Facetune and Latergram. Facetune has this um, feature called details which is just really awesome so that one's really great and Avery I mostly use this is so dumb but I mostly use this for cropping which you can do in the Instagram app so I don't know why I have it but anyway those are the two that I have. Latergram is really great for scheduling posts even though you can't upload straight from the app itself you can here I'll show you see I've got all these photos scheduled for the week and what will happen is at the time that I've designated this photo to upload I'll get a little notification from Latergram and then I will open this photo in my Instagram app and post it from there so that's really great I have the Facebook app but honestly I hardly ever ever use it and I do have a snapchat but I don't really snap that much you can follow me if you want my name is k-a-t-i-e-m as in Michael W11 I will link it below but honestly guys I'm not a great snapper so follow at your own disclosure I also have the YouTube app which is great um, I haven't messed around with this health app at all, but it comes with the iPhone 6, but that looks like a lot of fun. And I have the Pinterest app just for kind of scanning things when I'm bored. So this folder here is my health folder. If I click on that, I've got some really great apps here that I'll talk about really quickly. Charity Miles is an app that tracks your distance while you run or walk or bike or whatever you're doing. And for every certain distance you travel, it donates a little bit of money to the charity of your choice and there's a ton of charities in there so this is an app I highly recommend. I also use the Nike Plus running app if I ever run which is hardly ever and this Zombies Run app is really really fun it's basically like an audio book where you are playing a character in a zombie apocalypse so there are parts where you get swarmed by zombies and you have to run faster and it tracks your GPS so it actually knows if you are running fast anyway it's really fun so you should check that one out um, I had a Weight Watchers subscription for a little bit but I don't have it anymore but I still have the app I hardly ever use it and this is my fitness pal which is an amazing calorie tracker and exercise tracker that I absolutely love um, when you sign up for it you can set your goals and then it'll tell you like how many calories per day you're supposed to eat and then it subtracts how much you do eat and what exercise you do and it just it's a really great way to keep up with your health so I like that a lot these apps are absolute life savers for me because I think I have this thing called misophonia or misophonia I don't really know how to pronounce it but basically I get really really bothered by noises <laughs> and that sounds really stupid but it's like if somebody's making a noise that is bothering me it's it, it annoys me almost to the point of violence. So these are really great to put on and block out the sound. Um, Pandora obviously is great. I also have audiobooks which is a free app that's similar to Audible except for a lot of the titles are completely free to listen to um, and they are volunteer read so that's how they don't charge anything which is really great. And then this app Sleep Pillow this has been a lifesaver for me because it has sounds like rain and storm and all kinds of stuff that are really great for tuning out noises that bother me so those are my sounds on this page I've just kind of dumped like the utilities folder which I don't ever use any of these things 
um, as well as I have an app for my bank, which is great. And I have a folder for my games, which I hardly ever play, but have you guys ever played Heads Up? It's really fun. You should check that one out. And this one, this Jammer app right here is hilarious. You should go and watch um, Grace Helbig's video on this app. It's so, so funny. And then download it and play with it because it will really blow your mind. <laughs> um, I also have WhatsApp because I have quite a few friends that live overseas and it's really great to communicate them with them through this. Um, shopping wise, I only have Cartwheel by Target and the Starbucks app, both of which I really highly recommend. You can get some really great coupons with the Cartwheel app and of course with Starbucks you get points for every drink and you get free drinks every now and then so that's really wonderful. Down to the very last few apps, I have this thing called One Second Every Day where I take a one second clip every day and at the end of the year it's going to mash it all together into one big movie that will have a clip from every single day of my year, which I thought would be really cool, and I started it on January 1st, so I will post that on this channel at the end of the year if you are interested. I also have Periscope and Meerkat, and honestly, I haven't messed around with Meerkat that much, but Periscope, Periscope is really fun. My username is Katie actually on there, and I'm on there every now and then, honestly not that much, but I have done a couple scopes. Um, I had a discussion on my last session on what to call them, and I think we decided on scopes. What I love about the Periscope app is that you can go to, like, anywhere in the world and see what people are doing. Let's go to Honolulu. Ooh, let's go to Oahu, Hawaii Beach. Look at that. That is just a live shot of the beach in Hawaii right now. How cool is that? And if you click on it, it sends little hearts so you they know that you like it. And you can chat with them if you want to. Oh, well, not in this case, but a lot of times you can chat down there and uh, ask people questions. They can answer in real time, which is really cool. Anyway, so Periscope is really fun. I like that app a lot, and I have been having fun with it. So that is it for my What's on My iPhone 6 video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And leave any comments below, like, what's your favorite app for the iPhone that you have used because I would love to know. Leave that down in the comments and if you want to hang out with me some more I put up new videos every week and you can keep up to date by hitting that subscribe button down below and until next week I'll see you guys later. Bye!